Hey everybody, General Scar here, and today we're playing Banished! This is a game that when it came out I was very excited for, but I did not ever play it. <laughs> uh, except for a few times, because when it came out it wasn't at it. I was on vacation, so I only had my laptop and it did rub blah, 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 blah. Um. Hey everybody, General Scar here, and today we're playing Banished. This is a game that I was very excited for when it came out, uh, called, well, Banished, <laughs> um, I decided for it because it came out, a f I think, a few weeks or a month or so after, uh, SimCity, or no, it got announced or something a few weeks or before SimCity 2013 came out, and that was sort of just a big disappointment. So this is basically kind of the same thing, it's, it's a city building game, and but it's a bit more. It's, you gotta manage your resources, and you get, it's in like kind of the medieval kind of times you see. So it's like making an entire city. So uh, we're just gonna uh, play on some easy mode here. Uh, <laughs> I haven't played this game much, sadly, because I don't know. I never, I, I never really play because I, I can't really get into. I've never really played this much, uh, sadly. Even though it's a lot of fun. So I think because um, I have a hard time st like playing multiple games at the same time or playing changing games that I'm playing because then I have to worry about things. So how do I play this game? Uh, let me pause this for a second. So we have our little dudes here and we got some sheep houses that they can live in. We got all these materials to start building with. So uh, let's first, I think we have enough houses. There should be some... Oh, here we go. Tools. General stats about the town. We want that. Uh, events. Uh, let's just stick with that. Oh, no. Get rid of this. That. And then we want a mini map. We're going to move this up here. Uh, sign jobs. Uh, we can keep that there for now. Limits placed on resource production. Okay. Priority. Paths. Uh, that's my Skype going off. Dang it. Okay, uh, show paths. Uh, oh, this is just of... Show his path that he's... No? Okay. Uh, that's a screenshot, and that's that. Okay. These are building roads. This is... What is this music? Storage sheds and stuff? Okay. Okay, so this is where we're just gonna build everything. Uh, so I think we need to start... We should build... Uh, let's, let's cut down some wood. Uh, so, resource production, wood cutting, and just, that is not what I wanted to build at all. That's, did I build that? No, okay. That's not, okay, uh, <laughs> okay, this is what I want, remove resources. We're just gonna chop down that whole area over there, and let's see, this is, this is a pretty decent place to actually have a good start, and then I guess we'll, we'll chop, uh, there as well. I think we'll build a pasture and farm there and start building some more buildings over there. So now we're going to just play and we're going to fast forward times five. I don't know, this, this music sounds like it's something bad's happening. But I don't really think it is. In fact, I'm just going to turn it off because it's really annoying. Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah. SimCity did kind of that same thing where it was like, oh, you're in trouble, you get this stupid music now, and it just got on my nerves so much. So now we see... Building our things. Oh, and it's a good thing we started with sheep, because then I guess we can get wool, and we can get coats for when the winter comes, so our, all our people won't just die. Because <laughs> that's a pretty big problem that happens in this game. Uh, so our storage is going to get full pretty quick, so I th think... Uh... Storage, barn, stockpile. So I'm just going to put a stockpile right there. So it's a bit closer to where they're working. It's very wet right now. Also, this game's really loud. <laughs> you won't notice because it's going to be turned down, but to me it's very loud. Oh, I did build that. Whoops. Well, I guess that's okay. This this will uh this will build 
wood. Okay, so we gotta assign some people to jobs. Uh, so let me just pause this for a second. Just uh, blah blah assign jobs. Okay, so we gotta we have twelve people that can do jobs right now. So we're gonna assign two to builders, I guess. Um, we have some herdsmen, although we can't right now. So we can't have anything else other than builders because there's nothing else really going on. So once we get the uh, pasture built, then we can start. Ha we can have some herdsmen, and they can look over the sheep, the sheepies. So once this gets chopped down, I think I'll put a pasture right here. So yeah, now you can see it's being built because we have builders now. And so what this will do is this will um, regrow and cut down trees around this area so we can get uh, a bunch of wood. Well, not a bunch, but what is this? Storage for logs, stone, and iron is near capacity. Well, I have another one right there, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, and now uh, we're going to assign somebody to be a woodcutter. So we can actually start doing that. Oh good, it's operating. So, let's see. Food production. Resource production. Used to define an area, slightly cut down trees. Oh wait, no, this just cuts down trees, I think. Yeah, and this replants them and cuts them down. So, whatever. Uh... Need to find pasture. Here. Even though it's not going to be really food since we have sheep. Just, you know, build a nice little pasture right there. I look like that guy was floating for a second. That was weird. Oh, look at this, we got little uh, deer there. So, these are another thing that you can do. You can uh, make a hunter's cabin somewhere. Hunting cabin. And this will um, find and kill animals in certain areas. Um, and so, like, they do migrate. So if I build it here, it's gonna be like in this big circle you see that's where everyone is but those those deer are gonna like move around uh, so it will change from like season to season how much you're gonna get and what is this yeah well I don't really care because I have another storage thing right here nobody built it what are you kidding me the stupid sapling just started growing yeah no. No. Okay. Uh. Moves roads. Not what I want. How do I get rid of this? Okay, so I think I have to wait for this sapling to grow first before I can, uh, for that trading, that, not trading post, the storage will actually, st um, what you call it, work. So I think I'll just put one over here. I'll just extend this one, why not? Or right here, behind these houses. That works. Yeah. Now we have an inventory of that. And I will make... I think I'll make a hunter's cabin. Actually, no, I'll make a fishing... Oops. Fish. Uh... I... Oh, somebody died. I'm trying to figure out how to rotate this. I don't remember how. QE, that's the camera. Rotate R and T, okay. So we're gonna build a uh, Fisher's cabin, I think. Right 
here. You want to have it as with as much area of the water as possible so that it gets as much fish as possible. It's kind of weird how it works. So, oh good, some saplings started growing. Oh, they're actually removing them now. Thanks. Okay, so now they're going to start building that, and then what it does, and that, then I have to assign sheep to be in there. Um... We do have 14 coats, and we have 13 villages, and I think that's 12 children, yeah. Adult students, children, so hopefully we'll be good for at least one generation. I'm not going to go through like a long thing of this, because I don't really know how to play this game very well. So it'll just be a little bit of playing. So this is almost done. And what we will build in here, I think, okay, I'm going to start making some roads. To all the different houses. And, uh, pastures and stuff. There we go. So those roads will start to be built eventually, and you will be able to get places faster. So, and add sheep. We have 18 of 13, and we have no uh, people working in the pastures. So herdmen. Two of those. Okay. So we're only able to fit eight of these. So I think. The rest will get slaughtered for food and materials. Ah, uh, there's some way to s choose that. Somewhere. Okay, so... Next we have fish, so we're gonna add some fishermen. Fishermen, we're just gonna put in, I think, three. Should be fine. And let's see. Let's add add a uh, herbalist out here. So what this will do, this will uh, person will look around and collect herbs in the forests and stuff, and mushrooms for medicine and food. So that also helps. Uh, one of the big problems I have with this game is food production, and also overpopulation I seem to have a problem with. If you build too many houses then it'll require too many resources for some reason because like a single person likes to live in a single house or something but if they don't and th that uses up like a lot of firewood and stuff but if they don't then it doesn't so you want to wait a while before you actually start building more houses. It's kind of weird. If I remember I haven't played this in a while so there's an option somewhere. Maybe you can't slaughter sheep. Although I don't understand why not, because you could get lamb chops and stuff from it. So, so yeah, these people are low on food right now, and you can see there's a lot of people in each house. But when you build more houses, less people live in each house, and that makes you have to use up more stuff like firewood and everything. I think, yeah, so work on uh, food is going pretty well right now, I think. Uh, we can check firewood, food. So we can stay positive with the food, then we should be fine. Right now it's okay. Not very well, though. So I think once this gets built, then we'll be a bit better on food, but we might need to... I'm going to assign... No, instead of assigning another fisherman, I'm going to build another fisher thing. Actually, I'm going to build it right here. Now, since this has a lot more water area that is covering, it's going to catch more fish. I don't know why it works that way, but it does. It's just weird. So if you have 
Like these are best on peninsulas and stuff, and if you have it just like on its own little island somehow, then that would work perfectly well for you. Oh, so now it's winter, so now we really have to worry about food and fire making and stuff. And this, I think, is upgrade. The production for that has been reached, okay. So I'm going to, I think, increase the production limit to 500 so we can get more firewood. Just so we have enough firewood for the winter. And I don't have a tailor so I can't make any jackets or anything. So I should build that too. Oh, T. So I'll build a tailor. Now I think as it gets colder they would work slower because you know they gotta heat themselves up or something. I don't know exactly. Here we can see the overall health of the citizens. Not doing too well. Four hearts going down slowly. So. Uh, let's see. Let's assign some more fishermen. So we can just get some more food. Okay, this is almost done. And once that's done, we can assign even more fishermen. Okay. So I think I'll... S how many do... Yeah. Fishermen. Two more. And then this one will get... Three out of four. Three out of four. Yeah. Actually, this... This one should get... More... there okay so this one now has four people working and this one has two since this is going to get more food we want more people working on that and roads roads no that's remove roads uh roads so now we're just going to connect this road Oops. to here so they can travel along it faster and now we need to hire somebody to be an herbalist. Herbalist. We'll just assign two people. So now we have two more people left. Labor. Yes, I know food is low. I'm doing my best, okay. Okay, so tailor. Sign. Somebody is a tailor. Okay, so winter's over. We survived the winter. So here's what we can uh, make. We have the resources for it, which I don't know how to check what we have. I don't think we have any of that. Hang on. So anywhere I can check my inventory. Head, map, production, I don't know, I thought there was some way to do this, that's yeah, just the map, professions, it's resource limits, hmm. Oh, well, I just checked my storehouse. <laughs> so we have wool, but we don't have any leather. So we don't have any cows. So to get cows... Or I think we can kill animals to get cows as well. 